Well, 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 what do we have here? Another video game, this is what I have here. Anyways, hello! Welcome, everyone, to a new Let's Play. I'm a little bit sick, so, um... If I sound a little different, or if I hack up my lungs at any point in this, uh, that's why. But, <clears throat> it is time for the third part in our Need for Speed PSP adventure. Uh, we are advancing one year from 2005 to 2006, and we're going to get started with Need for Speed Carbon Own the City for the PSP today. Apparently, excuse me, apparently I bought this for eight bucks. <laughs> Shout out. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, Team Fusion's back. Uh, people who developed the other two PSP games so far. Uh, I'm really curious about this one because... We kind of got, we've, this game has an exclusive story that is completely separate from Console Carbon. We experienced it, sort of, in the uh, GBA version, but this is kind of the, the fully fleshed out version of this story that I'm, I'm really interested in. Um, <clears throat> other, other stuff I should probably know, uh, this was released simultaneously with, like, the main console releases. As is per usual, so, you know, the Reds... Actually, yeah, the Greatest Hits banner goes really well with the game's logo. It, it really does. But, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm really curious about this. Um, so, uh, you probably all, all, already saw in the intro video there. Uh, so, what I've been doing recently is if a game doesn't have, like, an intro scene in the actual game... Um, uh, I've been scouring the internet for, like, trailers that would fit in, just so I would have an actual, like, presentation for the video. The only trailers I could find for this game were from, like, 2006, so, like, early, early, early YouTube quality from IGN, hence the IGN watermark. <laughs> I did what I could, okay? I, I tried my best. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you know, that was, that was probably the most obvious example. I think the only other time I've done it, at least on, for the Let's, for a Let's Play is WRC Power Slide. That one was kind of obvious. Um, I've done a lot for the second channel. <laughs> Because most modern games don't have actual intro scenes, but that that's neither here nor there. Anyways, Carbon Own the City. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm ready to dive into this. This is going to be interesting. Uh, I don't really know what to say about it. I've, ne I've never played this version of the game. I played it a little bit just to make sure it works well on the emulator, which it does. I'm, as with every PSP game I play on stream here, I'm using an emulator. Um... And, yeah, that's really all I got for an introduction, I guess. Um, gonna slap this bitch back on my shelf. I'm gonna grab my Xbox One controller, because I'm playing a PSP game with an Xbox One controller, because I'm using an emulator. And, I am going to cough. I'm going to close the Wikipedia tab for Need for Speed Carbon. And I'm going to change scenes and immediately mute the game because copyrighted music. So, this is the main menu of the game. <clears throat> um, whenever you boot it up, it gives you the, do you, like with a brand new save, it gives you the, do you want to turn on auto save pop up and then just right there. Just th throws you in the title screen, nothing else. With the simple tagline, are you ready to own this city? So, uh, I'm going to press start. And what the game is going to do is immediately throw us into the game. Throw opening cutscene. <laughs> You're going down, bro. Right. Oh jeez. Oh, oh god. Oh god. You don't recognize me? 
My name's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. We were friends. Were we? The doctor said you'd have some memory loss, but it will hey, come back. Hey, my man! It's great to see you're all healed up. It's me, Carter, your ace, your wingman. Carter. Remember? There's some place we need to go. Can you still drive? Oh, you know, I just got discharged from the hospital after almost seven months from a traumatic brain injury that left me with amnesia. Sure, I can still drive a car. Fuck it, why not? What's the worst that could happen? So yeah, this game throws you straight I'm into. Take you. I'm gonna let you drive my car so you can get used to being behind the wheel. This is Carter. He's gonna race us, so it'll be a challenge. Okay. So yeah, the game just throws you straight into the uh, prologue of the game. <laughs> SW20 jump scare. <clears throat> I'm glad this game has voice acting because me trying to read dialogue while uh, sick is going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Anyways, we've been introduced to us, um, to, to, to Sarah, and Kaiju with the resub. Did we just get isekai'd? We did not get isekai'd, but we did get time warped. Um. <clears throat> Anyways. Hey, homie. Good to see you back in action. I'm sorry about the accident. Hope this little race will take your mind off your worries. Don't worry. I'll go easy on you. Also, I re <laughs> This time. Let's roll. Something. Are you gonna stop talking, Carter? Now? Okay. Something. Something I find really funny about this is uh, the crew info system. Sis. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it's funny. Anyways, here's our basic driving controls, I guess. Thanks, Sarah. What do you mean? What's a nub? What's an analog nub? What, do you, what are you talking about, Sarah? This is a car. Anyways, here's our, here's our default controls. I'll have to change that whenever I get a chance. I guess I should turn on the timer because we're we're just getting thrown straight into the game. And getting thrown straight into the game, I'm going to immediately pause and turn off the music. <laughs> because copyrighted music. Yeah. We also have sound effects, camera view, near, far, wherever you are. Um <clears throat> Can access the sys for the main menu. <laughs> uh, damn it, YouTube soundtrack is great. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let me turn our HUD on and off. Crew speech and crew indicator, which we'll learn about, I'm sure, at some point. Uh, we can at look at our sys. That's me, by the way. Anyways, let's just get driving. So, here we are. Got a little, uh, little point to point ride here. Hang with Carter. Got an MR2. Shout out. So there's the far chase camera. And here's the wherever you are chase, uh, bumper cam. Obviously, I'm gonna use the near chase camera. Um. Interesting layout of the HUD. Well, I say interesting layout of the HUD. HUD's a little bit. I don't really know what to say about the HUD. I mean, it's obviously... They changed some fonts for Most Wanted. We still got our mini-map. We still... We got, uh... Everyone's positions. I think they were in, on the right side of the screen in Most Wanted. They're on the left side now. Actually, pretty much all the race... In, like, <clears throat> race info is on the top left. Our position, our race distance, the time... As well as the positions of everyone. The Z Bover. <laughs> Yay, we won. We got how much money did we get there? Two hundred fifty bucks. I guess we start with twenty two thousand cash. Um. Also, yeah, sprint race. Uh, this is the first time we've had a point to point race in a PSP Need for Speed. Shout out. <clears throat> FT Insurance Pal. <laughs> I would hope so. Half a year in the hospital from a traumatic brain injury. I like how the skybox is still moving. Looks nice, actually. 
Oop, more story. A graveyard, a tragic loss. He was your brother. The same accident that killed him put you in the hospital. Oh shit. I guess that makes you lucky. Not so lucky for me. He was my, um, you know, my boyfriend. Hmm. He was a really great driver. No one knows what happened. One minute the two of you were like neck and neck for the win and then it was over. I was taking pictures from the sidelines, but all I got was this. Not a bad photograph for 2006 phone. I've searched for that third car ever since, but no one's seen it. Nobody knows who it was. I guess we'll just have to live with that. Come on, homie. Let's take your mind off all this heavy stuff. Let's go for a ride. I like Carter already. He's like, bro, this is kind of depressing. Let's drive a car. <laughs> So, uh, our brother's dead. <laughs> I'm, there was some. Listen up. Every driver has a class. My class is brawler. Trigger my move and I'll either smack down on a rival race car. If I hit a car hard enough, he'll be disabled for a while so you can race ahead. But this race, I'll be your only wingman. Okay, cool. So, uh, we were racing our brother. Uh, some dude wrecked us both. Our brother dead. We had traumatic brain injury. Damn. <laughs> um, that's kind of fucked up. <clears throat> uh, anyways, here's the uh, the the newest uh, I guess gimmick with this game and with Carbon in general is the uh, team system or the crew system. So we got we got Carter here. He's our teammate, or crewmate, a brawler. Using the brawler, uh, to use my brawler move, press the button displayed beside my picture in the game HUD. Then try to pick a target car in front of you to smack him off his line. And if I hit him just right, disable him for a short amount of time. Uh, tip, I can only target cars that are visible in front of you. And my move takes 30 seconds to recharge after use, so use it wisely. So we basically get back up here. Um, anyways, here we go. More uh, more prologue racing. We got Aryan and Crunch here. And then Carter placed in... Uh, <clears throat> labeled in blue as my crewmate. So I press the circle button. And now Carter's just going to absolutely bully the shit out of whoever that is. I think it was Aryan. <laughs> We do another quick point to point. Uh, the top right is our crew information. Um, that green bar is his like recharge after being used. And then <clears throat> once it's fully charged, we can use it again. But like it said on the on the tip screen, we can only use it on cars that are directly in front of us. So if I press circle now. He flashes his lights at me, and he's like, bro. Where is he at? Where's the target? Where is that punk? Where is he at? There's no target. I find him very funny. Also, he's just kind of chilling behind me. Um, in my little bit of playtesting with this game, I have found that the crewmates generally just tailgate you when they're not actually, like, actively doing something. They just, that's just what they do. Anyway, that was an easy win. We got a Mazda Speed 3. We've upgraded from the Mazda 3 in uh, Most Wanted to m Most Wanted 510 to the Mazda Speed 3. Hey, yo. We still got the Cobalt, we got the Lancer, then the MR2. <clears throat> and then there's this screen. So, uh, our crewmates earn uh, experience slash skill points. Um, for stuff that we do in the race. So, got five points for winning. One point for using his uh, abilities. And we got six points for clean sections. We can also get points for top reaching top speed and leading laps and lap races. So Carter earned 12 skill points. Cool. More flavor text is load that loaded too fast for me to read. My class is drafter, so mm -hmm. when you trigger my move, 
I'll pull in front and you drive behind me. Okay. So Sarah's our drafter class. Using the drafter. To use my drafter mood, press and hold the button displayed beside my picture in the game HUD. I'll then try to pull out in front of you, ride in my wake to build up acceleration. Pull out when you need pull out when you need, or hang in there until I shut off my drafter cone. Cone. <clears throat> we draft in here. Using <laughs> Caro. Calm. Anyways, tips. Uh, use my draft remove on street sections of road. Tip, if I completely use up my draft or cone, it takes a full 30 seconds for me to recharge so you can trigger it again. Alright. Well, time for, uh... Get the assistance of my dead brother's girlfriend. Let's do some drafting. We've got Crunch and PK here as my, rival, my actual opponents in this race. Oh, hi. Wait a minute. Aren't I driving Sarah's car right now? How does she have another one? Anyways, here's drafting. <clears throat> you're not, like, locked into her wake, but uh, if you're in the wake, it kind of, the game kind of, like, pulls your car in. So, like, you could, like, if you overshot a turn or something, you could pull out of the wake. But it tries to keep you in. Her finish line town egg isn't on the trial. <laughs> yeah, she just has a spare Mar 2 for this exact scenario. <laughs> hey, I can help you out. Clearly. Switch oh, she can two. help me out. Okay, let's go. Come on, get in my draft zone. Working on it. Oh, never mind. Oh. That's another thing the crewmates do. Um <clears throat> when you're at the finish line, if they're in front of you, they'll just turn off their ability and then stop. Like, they just stop to let you win. So, for all intents and purposes, crewmates are not, like, active threats in any of these races, it seems. Well, looks like Sarah already had some XP. Or skill points, excuse me. She got 16 more. Winning, using her ability. Four, four from clean section, six from top speed. Damn. What's up, Dorito? I guess that's how they did the whole crewmates winning thing in this game. Oh, yeah, because like in console carbon, you can win by having your crewmate win the race. Here they literally just yield to you. Let's jump on it. Now you're going to race with Kita. She's an assassin. Just tap the button to trigger her special move and watch her lay a spike strip that blows the tires off any cars that go over it. Watch out, man. She don't play favorites. If you hit the strip, you blow your tires too. Interesting. Assassin class. What's up, Kita? Using the assassin. To use my assassin move, press the button displayed beside the picture in the HUD. I'll then try to pick a target car in front of you and try to drop a tire shredding spike strip in its in his path. Damn. Alright. <clears throat> uh tip, I can only target cars that are visible in front of you, so just like brawler. Um Kita from Bachi the Rock. <laughs> Uh, my move takes 30 seconds to recharge. Okay. So, similar recharge. And all that stuff, so. Crunch and Glover and PK. We got five cars on track. This is the most we've had in a single race in a PSP Need for Speed yet. Five whole cars, oh my god. Alright, so I want to stay away from Kita because she's going to... Well, she... Was that her that got spun? I think she's the one that got spun there, but she dropped a spike strip and I guess Glover. Glover! Oh, she's back on me though. My rear gunner. Do it anyways. I don't care if there's no one in front of me. I wonder how the map compares to Mainline Carbon. Oh, we'll get to the map. In my playtesting in this game, I noticed something about this map. We'll get there. There's actually a lot to talk about with the map.
All right. Oh, 240SX. Hello. <clears throat> I got two points for leading a lap in this point-to-point -point race. Sure. Works for me. This is the race map. This shows okay. you the whole city. Each color on the map represents a crew that controls that piece of turf. The Lucky Sevens lost all their turf when Mick was killed. Damn. The other crews just swooped in and took over. So I'm guessing the Lucky Sevens, which was our crew that our brother and everyone was part of, owned the city. Uh -huh. And then after Mick died, uh, you everything find broke. Out who killed your brother? Straight up, man. You need to start winning races. Otherwise, nobody will give you the time of day. You need to form your own crew and challenge these fools for control of their turf. Oh yeah, there's the plot. First PSP Need for Speed game with an actual plot, by the way. Uh, <laughs> unlucky sentence. <laughs> yeah, we need to find out who killed our brother. I can't help you go ahead with this. Losing Mick was too much. I'm sorry. My car is off limits. You've lost that privilege. But I like it. I want your... I don't even want your body. I want your car. Don't even worry about it. We'll get you set up with your own car, and you can pick a name for your own crew. Let's get started. Okay, sure. <clears throat> Alright, well, uh... We've lost access to Sarah's MR2. I guess we'll just have to buy our own car. So, what, what options do we have? We have Mazda Speed 3, a 240SX, a Yo. And an Evo 9. Evo 9 as a starter car. Interesting. That's unexpected. Alright, well, Mazda 3 is cheapest, but also has the worst handling. And the other two are pretty similar. Yeah, whole ass Evo. Hmm. Ooh. You know, I was really wanting to start with the 240 because it's. I haven't seen. We haven't seen this car yet on the PSP. Um. Ah oh, man, this is a tough choice. I'm gonna buy the Evo. I'm gonna buy the Evo. Choose your crew tag. All right, so we can choose our crew tag. We have a lot of different options here. It actually applies to the car as a decal. Interesting. Axe. I don't know what that is. That is literally the fighting type symbol in the Pokemon TCG. That's literally what it is. <clears throat> Diamonds, butterfly... Whatever that is. 260, 150, or 280 horsepower to start with. Aces. Ace of Spades. Motorhead. The Cassette Crew. The Boomer Crew. You know what? I think our crew tag is going to be this Ninja Girl here. I think we're going to be the Ninja Girl Crew. Ooh, we can set our crew color. Actually affects a little bit of the menu flare. Ooh. Alright, which color is the most pink? Uh, looks like this one. <clears throat> is that Rosemary? God, I wish. Uh, she's wearing a mask instead of a uh, face paint. Hey, we can finally select our name. About damn time. Alright. So, as is tradition in these street racing games, you're going to be our protagonist and delinquent adopted, adopted son of my other OCs, uh, Sleeve McDitchell. <clears throat> oh, we can name our crew. Ooh, okay. Um, fuck, what do we name our crew? 
Hmm. I have an idea. I have an idea. I keep wanting to click the le left stick to uh, activate caps because that's what you do in uh on an Xbox. Ah, oh, it doesn't fit. I was gonna name our crew the Mick Bitches. Damn it. All right. Um. Mm. McBishes. <laughs> Wait. Idea. What if I just misspell it on purpose? McBishes. Perfect. Yes. You're in the crew house. Oh. This is where you can customize your cause, change up your crew, and either jump into the city and explore, or go to the map and start advance directly from there. Yeah, what Carter said. Oh, hey, our little uh, little little color on the uh, on our on our sis is different now. Hey. Oh, save data. I'm sure I'll save. All right, so here's our main menu or our crew house. As it is, um, this is where we can look at our statistics, like our career stats. We've won four sprint races. Let's go. <coughs> we have other race types. We have cops still. And we can look at our crew stats as well, which is going to be uh, interesting to deal with. Um, we have Carter and Dylan right now. Times race, one events. I guess when I win a race, that counts as a win for them. So, it's interesting. Um, <clears throat> can look our my crew. We can change our crew tag. Uh, crew ID. We can change our name and info. Cannot assign wingmen yet. Cannot recruit crew members yet. We can, This is one of the interesting things about this game, though, that I've learned. We can look at our crew cars... We can actually, we can actually change our crew's vehicles, like the visuals on them. So if I wanted to repaint them or anything, I could do that. Which is really cool, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> um, anyways, my car, choose car, I only have one car available and that's the Evo. Visual parts, all right. First things first, I need to get this color off of here. Do I stick with my tradition and just having a blue Evo? Ooh, and I actually apply, okay. So I can just apply the blue to my car or I can apply it to every car in my crew. So if I back out, now everyone's cars are blue primary. Holy shit, that's awesome. That's sick, actually. Alright, everything else, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything unlocked. I will say these upgrade menus are a little... harder to, uh... scroll through than the most wanted ones, just because... Instead of having every part listed on a on a list, I have to actually like scroll each individual part to figure out what I. Oh, we actually have some window tint options already. Okay, well I don't need to unlock any window tint options. We got everything unlocked from the start. Interesting. Hmm. Sure, everyone gets red window tint. Then paint, and then a crew tag. So this is where we can choose to have our pla crew tag placement. We can either have both on the hood and the sides, just on the hood, just on the sides, or not at all. I kind of like having our crew tag on the car, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it on the car. Uh, performance parts. 
Uh, I'm guessing we don't have anything unlocked. We have engine handling, chassis, turbo, nitrous, so... Same categories as Most Wanted 510. <clears throat> same four categories. Plus nitrous. Well, same five categories. Yeah, nothing's unlocked yet. And then from this uh, menu, we can also uh, customize our crew cars. Wait a minute. Did I not mess with uh, vinyls? Okay, I don't have any unlocked. That's why. <laughs> I don't have any vinyls unlocked, that's why I didn't mess with them. Uh, anyways, time for... the most unique part of this game, in terms of the PSP game so far. So here we have our crew map. Um, each section of the map is divided into sectors that are owned by different crews. Right now the only section we have available in terms of events is the mountains. Um... We'll look at that in a moment. We have 12 respect out of 1,000. We found 30 crates. We'll get into that. We completed 0% of the game. So in the mountains, we have 7 events to uh, do here. And we need to win f at least 4 of them to challenge Marcus, the, I'm guessing, boss of this uh, region. So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you now, this map does it look a little familiar? Because it should. Um, this is a... It's not the entire map, but this is a par uh, partial map of Rockport from Most Wanted. So we got the Most Wanted map here in this uh, in Carbon. Uh, but one of the most unique features of this game, at least for the PSP games, is free roam. We can actually just drive wherever I want. And then from the pause menu, we can select events from the thing. We can look uh, actively go to the GPS and lock a GPS to one of these events to guide us. Uh, crew info options. FAQs. Oh, yeah. Here we go. What's new? Let's see. What's new? The open world. You can experience a full open world racing experience in the palm of your hands. Explore the open world looking for bonus crates to unlock special content or just cruise around hunting rival crew cars who are looking for a challenge. However, drive like a maniac and the cops will be keeping an eye out for you. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, that. So we can drive around, we can challenge uh, random cars, we can get the police on our ass. Uh, crew race events are also new. In the own, in own the city mode, which is the, career, uh, the campaign, you can recruit crew members to your crew. Then you can drive with two wingmen. During crew race events, watch the wingman HUD element as it will display the correct button to trigger the wingman's special move. Yeah. Uh, four player online, don't care about that. Customizable front end. Choose a custom crew tag and then cr choose a crew color to pre represent yourself. E. The crew color will tint the front end elements, and if you decide to change your crew tag or crew color, go to the crew ID screen on the own city mode. Yeah. <clears throat> this is, yeah. This is definitely the most ambitious so far game from Team Fusion on here. Uh, controls, I can't change that from here. Hints and tips. Okay, this is for the different crew mitt. Abilities. Uh, general. EAA Media Center. Game Art. Multiplayer. We'll look at that later. Alright, before I actually go... Um... Yeah, let's save and quit. <coughs> because... Okay, here we go. I couldn't go back to the main menu for some reason. I might have been pressing the wrong button. But here's our main menu. It's actually a nice main menu. It has our current car just kind of plastered on this background. It's cool. Um, anyways, we have our quick play mode. It works just like most of one. We have instant race, which chooses a car and track for you. Just go crew race or single race. Uh, multiplayer, my NFS. We can look at our statistics. Options, uh, which is our main options. 
gives us the extra option to turn auto save on or off. Controls, this is what I was wanting to do. Because I want manual gears, goddammit. And it looks like config C is the only one with manual gears. So here's our controls. So it looks like turning on manual gears uh, disables D-pad steering, which is fine. I use the stick anyways. Um, <clears throat> yeah, actually tries. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll. Um. Hey, Steve. I'm a little sick, but yeah. So, you break nitrous. Yeah, that works. That works for me. Controls. All right. Then game data, we can save, load, or delete our game data. Uh, EA Media Center, which is, I don't know what the fuck this is. Player to add their own songs to make custom playlists. All you have to do is put the MP3 tracks in the music folder in the memory stick, and they will appear in the EA tracks. Okay, so you can import your own music if you have them, like, on a SD card or, or memory stick or something. That's cute. Then EA Extras, we have the FAQ, which we've already been through. Game Art Gallery. And then Credits. Anyways, let's let's go back to own the city. Do our free roam. Let's do this. Um. All right. Yeah, manual gears. All right. So in free roam here, when we approach an event, it'll show up on the top left of the screen. So all we have to do is press up to bring up the event info. So this is a circuit race called perimeter i think the act the race itself is called perimeter not the track i'm not entirely sure um cash rewards 2000 2.1 mile distance for two laps circuit is a lap based race you must finish the last lap in first place to win yeah we have one out of 14 territories open uh let's launch this event let's race do our first actual race race the track name a brawler or an assassin in your crew, you uh -huh. can make them switch their target. Okay. For the brawler, tap the special move button before the brawler hits his target and he'll switch. Uh -huh. For the assassin, tap the special move button before he drops his spike strip and he'll change targets too. Try oh. it out with me in this race. Okay, so we can swap targets if I need to before they actually like do something. This turf used to be controlled by the Lucky Sevens, but after Mick's crash, a uh -huh. new boss from the West Coast rolled in and he took over. Hmm. You take them out, and you get a territory, and you'll earn a whole lot of respect from the other crew bosses in the city. Are we talking about respect? All right. So kick their asses, and people be like, oh shit, this guy's back. Basically. Let's go. Right, we've got Carter here, a brawler. He needs some time to warm up, though. Let's do this. Um... Get our street cred. That'll be interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> Flying barrels. Alright, Carter's ready to fuck on some dudes. Fuck on the leader. Fuck on Glover. Weird ass. I don't know how a glove is able, like a sentient glove is able to drive a car, but we got Glover here. One thing that has been removed from this game that uh, that's not in this game that was in most one five one zero, speed breaker, absent, or at least I have not been made aware of its existence yet, which is interesting. So I think speed breaker was still a thing in console carbon. So. Sure, it's not Glover from the 64 game Glover. That's what I'm saying. Like, how the hell did a sentient glove manage to learn how to drive a car? It's impressive, really. Graphic. Alright. Sorry, I like I like 
this tower and be like, Dude, there's no one in front of you. I can't do anything. There's definitely a little bit of a... I'm trying to, like, feel out the physics of this game. I haven't really... The cars feel a little less wobbly so far. At least comparing to the beginning of Most Wanted. Like, oh, okay, don't do that. Which is a good thing. The steering was very wobbly in Most Wanted. There was like a... There was like an input off delay where the car kind of steer heavier after releasing the stick. I don't know, it's weird. M map is mirrored or reversed in some direction. Uh, the best I can explain it is this map is a portion of Rockport, but things are placed not in the exact same spots. They kind of they kind of jumbled around a lot of the, some of the Rockport bits. Anyways, we beat Glover, Aryan, and Crunch, and I guess Carter as well. But he's pretty much designed to finish behind me. And Carter gets an extra 14 skill points, bringing him up to 26 with my uh, driving. Didn't reach top speed at any part. Enjoy the kind of night, yellowy glow, almost dust-style lighting. Yeah, it's like not quite nighttime, but it's also not daytime. The sky, the evening like skybox is also nice with the sun kind of glowing behind the clouds. Or at least the effect of that, that looks really nice. <clears throat> we don't remember the yes. That's why that's why the map is kind of fucky because we don't remember <laughs> the maps jumbled up because of our amnesia. <laughs> All right, so one thing I could do is just straight up select an event from right here. But uh. Why would I do that when I can just drive? I'm going to be driving in the open world more as, as much as possible. Um, but we can set our GPS, which can guide us to our next uh, event. Um, we have a crew takedown event here, just 0.3 miles away. We can also zoom the map in and out a bit. Uh, we've got an event there. we got our safe, we got safe houses here, or crew houses, excuse me. Will take us back to the crew menu. Um, we've got a circuit race there. We got a knockout race there. Got other events. There's a lot of crew houses. Holy shit. Um, let's set our GPS to this takedown event. You want to activate the GPS system? Yes. So now we have this big ass GPS arrow, which is. I don't remember if this arrow was in console most one or carbon, but I associate it with underground two. This is this big ass arrow that pulsates and t shows you which roads to go on. Anyways, we've made it to our next event. It is a crew takedown. Take down enemy crew members before the time runs out. The harder you hit a car, the more damage they take. Once the enemy car starts smoke, they're one hit away from being taken out. So 1,500 cash reward, 3.4 mile distance, 5 takedowns required. Remember the carbon arrow being blue? And it's green here. Interesting. Crew takedown is all about taking down rival crew cars. Yeah. Chase these bad dudes down and smack them around to knock them out of the action. Now, the harder you hit them, the faster they go down. Hmm. When you see smoke coming from a rival car, it's game over for them. <laughs> Happy hunting. Thanks, Carter. Here's a hint. Drive out to long stretches of road where they can't sneak away from you by taking shortcuts and side roads. This will increase your chances of taking down more cars. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> crew takedown in this game is basically a retool of the tuner takedown mode from Most Wanted. Instead of you being a police car trying to beat the shit out of uh, other cars to arrest them, you are just 
in your car and beating the shit out of other cars to beat the shit out of them. We got we got the health bars. And yeah. Oh, they juked me. They all went to the through the shortcut, bastards. We gotta take take down five cars in this. Uh, so far I've taken down zero. Alright, we got one. We got two. Just like that. So yeah. Actually, I actually find it very interesting how they just... They took the uh, tuner takedown mode from Most Wanted and like... I, I like this retool of tuner takedown mode, that's what I'm trying to say. Damn, these guys are hard to hit. They're also like, dr actually like... Taking different roads and stuff and like splitting off, making things a little more difficult. The open world of it and it kind of works. Yeah. Yeah, it's not on a set path or it's like an open world thing. Oh shit, I'm almost out of time. Come on. No, I failed. Damn. Well, there's our first L. <laughs> Unfortunate. Hate to see it. I needed five, only got four. Alright, let's try it again. <coughs> Honestly, the fact that we have open world exploration on this on a PSP Need for Speed is really nice. Again, it's been <clears throat> PSP was out for like a year and a half at this point. So they have And this is Team Fusion's third game on the console, so they have a little uh a little better understanding of how this how this hardware works. They're definitely pushing it. That's what I really like. Really enjoy about doing these uh playing these games like this. It's what I enjoyed about the GBA Need for Speeds as well, just to see how uh how the the games kind of evolved from one to another as po uh, Pocketeers kind of hone their craft with the uh, Game Boy Advance hardware and the Need for Speed formula. It's really cool. <clears throat> I quite enjoy it. Man, this Evo slow as fuck. Yeah, fuck you. Alright, I've already met the takedown quota. It's just burnt out at home. Yes. Yes, it is. See, Need for Speed had road rage events <laughs> this whole time. Also, yeah, Zero brings up a point. There are definitely some aesthetic differences in these areas of the map versus Rockport. Okay, so you do get a little bonus time from each takedown, just like in uh, Most Wanted. That was much, much better. <coughs> Ooh, new game art unlocked. View it, view it in EA Extras. You've unlocked some art. Interesting. Interesting. We've got some cash. Hell yeah. And then it spawns us right where the event ended. Cool. So one thing I need to look out for while free roaming... Um, hang on, let's see... What is the closest event to me? Unfortunately, events that I complete don't, uh... Don't go away from the map when I complete them, so that can be a little bit confusing. That can lead to con potential confusion, I should say. Um, looks like the circuit race is the closest to me. Well, this knockout is technically closer, but... And let's do the circuit race. Again, I could just... fast travel to that, but I really want to explore the open world.
just just to have the experience of driving in the open world. Um, another thing that I just thought of that we have not seen yet in this game, and they were very, very prominent in Most Wanted, police. We haven't had any run-ins with cops yet. But we will eventually. Just hasn't happened yet. So unlike Most Wanted, where like literally every race except for the boss races and the very, very first race had cops, not a single uh, 5-0 in sight. Anyways, here's the circuit race at Junkyard Blitz. 2,000 cash reward, 3.4 mile distance, 2 laps. Let's race. Let's jump on it. Let's jump on it. We got Kita here? We got Kita here. Looks like for this first chapter, our crewmates are kind of uh, pre-chosen for us and random. Which is interesting. So we got Kita the Assassin here. We got Aryan, Crunch, and PK. Our uh, opponents in this race. Hey, I'm ready to go. Oh, she's ready to go. Here we go. Ready to fuck on some fools. With her spike strip. Oh, yeah, we got spikes. Oh, they both ran him over. And remember, if the spikes also affect me, so if I run them over, my tires get fucked as well. We gotta make sure I don't do that. Because not running over spikes is beneficial. Comcast is having a moment, by the way. I see red. Alright, we're in the lead thanks to, uh. Hey, I'm ready to go. Thanks to Kita. Anyways, yeah, Zero pointed out this is a. This was. This area of the map was like a golf course. In, uh, Console Most Wanted. Here it's a, uh, rock quarry. Just kind of industrial. area. thing. I don't know. It's interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Connection dipped to zero, I see. We are having a Comcast moment. Hey look, that billboard from most one still uh, is back. Still advertising that one year later. Wow. Alright, it looks like Crunch is crunching. Everyone else is way behind us, so all we have is Kita. Just kind of tailgating. So I'm in no danger of losing this race. There's no one in range. There is no target. There is no target. Where is that target? <laughs> Sorry. I'm probably going to be ended up doing that a lot. Because I, I find it funny. There is no target. I really enjoy how they flash their lights at me. They're like, bruh. What do you want me to do? Yeah, so far this is really nice. I mean, we're still in the very beginning of the game. So it's going to be very easy and... Uh, still learning shit. But so far, Team F I, I'm very impressed with what Team Fusion has done with this game. Interesting how the shortcuts are blocked off in these in these uh, circuit races. So <laughs> these early circuit races, complete. We did it. I won by eight seconds almost. Oh shit, Aryan and Crunch tied, okay. Interesting. Hm. How about that? 14 skill points for Kita. I don't know how many she needs for to reach level 2, but apparently it's more than 100. <laughs> the 
Trader Trips is the most wanted. I didn't even like dislike most wanted. Like to clarify, because I got a comment on that as well on the most wanted finale. It's like, yeah, I agree this game's rough. I'm like, I said this game is rough in like a couple places. <laughs> or like at a specific point. I actually liked this, liked it. Um, I enjoyed playing it more than uh, than Underground Rivals, I even said. Overall. <laughs> Most people don't like 510. Yeah. I mean, I've only experienced two of the PSP Need for Speed, so... I don't have... That's the only gauge I have is Underground Rivals and Most Wanted so far. Like, yes, it got frustrating at parts with the police and shit, but I had a good time with the game. I just don't like when people try to project their opinions on me. That's why I'm even mentioning this in the first place. Like, no, no, no. That's not what I said. I said, part of the game is rough, not the game is rough. Anyways, we're gonna do this, uh, what is this? A lap knockout race. Storage run. Lap knockout eliminates the racer in last place after every lap. Last car standing is the winner. As these lap knockouts have always been working. So, 3.4 mile race, 3 laps, let's go. First place wins as usual, but there's one little wrinkle. At the huh? end of each lap, the driver in last place gets knocked out. Uh -huh. Don't get caught in the back of the pack. Or your race will get cut short. Got it, Carter. No problemo. Oh, I don't have any uh, crew crewmate with me either. This is straight up. Um. Yeah. Like rivals, uh, underground rivals. Like I think had slightly better driving to it. Like, the driving physics were a little better, but I just did not like the bloated progression of the game. Um, and Most Wanted, as chaotic and, like, as annoying the cops were to deal with, it created some very, very funny moments. And the chaos was very entertaining, even if I... even at my caught at, at my detriment. So... I don't know. They both have their strengths and weaknesses, and I think the... Overall, weighing it all, I, I would prefer... I preferred Most Wanted to Underground Rivals. Yeah, McBeaches. Couldn't fit the whole McBitches in, uh text, so. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. Then again, the, uh... I don't think Arian Glover and PK are very quick. I don't think they're very fast drivers, so I don't think I'm gonna be in much danger here. Thirty-five mile per hour top uh, speed limit. I don't think so, bud. I go face. And having an actual like <clears throat> uh, open world map, like an actual open world map, is gonna make these races a little. Um. What's the explanation I'm trying to find here? Like, seeing the difference between tracks laid out... ...on a, uh... ...made up of pieces of an open world versus tracks that are specifically designed... ...in a, in a vacuum. Although... Um, you could make the argument that... 
some of the tracks in Most Wanted were just tracks from Underground 2, which was also an open world game. Or an open world map, but it also had Hot Pursuit 2 tracks, which were designed within a vacuum. This one's entirely open world. So. I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. Gonna be interesting. And you know what isn't interesting right now? This race, because I'm dominating. This highway is fucking wide, by the way. How many lanes is this per per side? Four? Sheesh. Eight lane highway. Freaking America, am I right? American road systems. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I do like this, like, perpetual dusk setting. Like, not fully night, but not in the day. And so many nice playing this game. Hell yeah. Oh, watch out. Traffic car. Alright, it's so me and the glove on the final lap. Yes, this is the PSP version. Keep seeing graffiti on the walls. I'm guessing that's the uh, the crew tag of whatever crew owns this area. Hmm, that a quest. I will say, this doesn't seem to be a very large map, because, like I said, it's only a portion of Rockport. <laughs> from, uh, Most Wanted console. So. We'll see how, uh, redundant, I guess, the tracks get. Maybe, maybe uh, maybe they'll, they'll be a little... Little, little more uh, variety, just because we're sectioning off roads instead of having specific tracks. Yeah, Evo has a starter car. That's a, that's a new one. When did we unlock the Evo in Most Wanted? Like Blacklist, like nine or something, nine or eight. I will say the Evo is definitely as slow in this game. Like, it's got starter car speed in this game. Not fast. They definitely nerfed the Evo for it to be a starter car. <clears throat> Blacklist 9, yeah. Alright, we're up to 9100 bucks. Cash. I won the knockout. Hell yeah. Then then we're right back. Yeah, normal Lancer, but with an evil body kit, clearly. An in-game car. <laughs> Here, it's literally one of the first, like, literally a starter car. Alright, we have complete. how many events have we completed? We completed four events, so we could take on Marcus now for this territory. However, I got three more events to go, so we're gonna we're gonna do all the events. Obviously, I mean, it's a racing game. I'm gonna 100% it. So we've done those two, that one, and that one. So we got one over here, and then we got two over here, like right on top of each other. So I guess we're going this way. So we'll set our GPS to this event. <clears throat> Turn around. Very sunny hustle. Why did they do it? I 
How do you clean them? Just don't get them dirty forehead. Yeah, I'm kind of scanning the sides of the roads for stuff. Stuff and reasons. Oh yeah, I guess I just have the the race with Marcus just pulsating on the uh, screen. I'll race him at any time. Ah! I missed it. No, go back, go back, go back. Crate. Alright, so these crates. Those are the bonus crates. Ooh, a thousand cash. There's like 30 of them, I think, across the entire map. I gotta, I gotta find those. Throughout this adventure. Alright. So let's see. Delivery. New race type. Delivery. Open world. Four and a half miles. Deliver the package before anyone else to win. It's first or nothing. yourself as a courier get to the delivery spot before the other crew and you win and you know how we get down baby it's first place or nothing yeah all right so delivery races these are um these are essentially just sprint races but uh within the open world as in like there's no uh there's no walls or anything to mark the track. You just kind of have to figure it out yourself or follow the GPS arrow. Alright, as I take the lead, he's ready to go. So, just gotta follow the GPS arrow. We'll be fine. Yeah, the no checkpoint races in Midnight Club. Similar style. <laughs> like every race in Burnout Paradise. Yes. <coughs> yes. The um the progress screen on the top left is interesting. That's all I got to say about it. it's interesting. I don't know what the hell you just said to me. But sure. I'm gonna turn left here. I'm literally just following the arrow. Favorite element from most 10510. Um, hmm. Oh, here's a delivery spot. I don't know. I don't know if I can pick out a single favorite thing, Zero. That's kind of a tough one. Anyways, I win. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, plus 11 for Carter. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool. Another race in the books. Now, I need to go down here, because these are where the last two events are, for this, uh, for this district. Excuse me, pardon me, come through. Station. <laughs> My favorite element, crab. Oh god. Ah, he, he. It's fine. So anyways, yeah, that was the delivery races. Um, pretty cool. Sorry, I had an itch.
Okay, so this game is like bad, bad. I don't think it's like bad, 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 but it. I think it's more Art Carter style. Oh, we unlocked Art. Cool. Crate number two. It definitely shakes the camera more. Alright, we have made it to our destination. This will be interesting because we have two events right on top of each other. So we got that one, and then we got this one. I want to do this one first. So, escape. Escape from the enemy crew. Get out of their territory before time runs out. 3.4 miles. We have a minute two time limit to get the fuck out of here. crew really doesn't want you around. Now get out of their turf before the time runs out or you're done. Watch out. They're after you and will do whatever it takes to make sure you don't make your getaway. You should try to spin them out. This will knock them off your tail for good. Yeah, we have murder events and don't get murdered events. I am the one who wants to be, uh, who is the target to be taken down this time. So this is basically like the delivery race, except instead of racing, I'm surviving. Follow the GPS. Get the hell out of here. Reach the finish line. Luckily, I can fight back. Which is nice. We. Oui. 60 mile per hour speed limit in this tiny area? I don't believe you. I don't believe you, game. And there's the escape. Zone. <clears throat> yeah, this was marked man before Burnout Paradise happened. As I made it. New game art unlocked. Viewed in EA Extras. Nice. Cool. Alright, so that leaves one more event. Yeah, one more. So we gotta go back down here. Do the uh, sprint race. Then we'll be able to, we'll be ready to take on Marcus. Man, I'm able to take on Marcus right now, but I'm not ready yet. Get this turf. Incoming 911 callers are reporting uh -oh. um, numerous code six parties racing. Police chatter? Cops? I don't see anything on the map. Ah uh, yes, the classic, the last game, except for these games, but I don't want to mention these games, because meh. That's what console games. Maybe. Alright, so I want to be over here in this red zone. For the sprint race, mountain speed zone, 6.2 miles, somehow I don't believe you. <laughs> Sprint's a point-to-point -point race, first to the cross finish line wins. Let's go. This is where it all begins. You and me, man. You and me. All right, let's go. Got Dylan here. Oh, Dylan's a drafter. Okay. Looks like I can use him for speed. Yeah, considering how much we're already progressing through this race, I don't think it's 6.2 miles. I think it's more 2.6 miles. Alright. Right, Get your ass in front of me. Right, Woo! There we go. There's a good explanation of the, the draft wake. How it just kind of threw me into it. When I got close enough. <clears throat> I'm 
big speed. Yeah, six speed Evo. We covered six miles in just over a minute. <laughs> wow. Big win. <coughs> Drafter seems very effective on these highway tracks. Oh, that's Dylan's first 14 skill points. Nice. All right, and with that... All seven of the main events in the uh, in the mountains are done, so we can uh, we can just straight up challenge Marcus now. So I guess let's just challenge Marcus. Ready to what does it say? Ready to challenge Marcus for his territory. Let's take his territory <clears throat> in my stock Evo. Anything? I used to ride with the Lucky Sevens, but after Mix crash, I wanted to try things with this new crew. Things haven't been so good under the new boss, if you know what I mean. So if you can beat me, I'll think about joining you. Okay. Hmm. Want to mix uh, former crewmates. The Berserkers. Yeah, crew. I see. All right, here we go. I got Carter with me. <clears throat> Let's do this in one lap race. Excuse me. I'll hit the truck. Yeah, he hit the truck. GG glove. Dummy. Alright, go bully Aryan for me. Or he could hit a bunch of cones and lose momentum. Sure. So when I was played, I, I basically did this entire first chapter when, like, playtesting this to make sure it emulated well. It's because I was curious. This was the point where I realized, oh fuck, this is just Rockport, isn't it? And then I, I, uh... You want me to come down on someone or what? I looked at the map, and then I looked at the Rockport map. Most wanted, and I'm like, wow. How about that? That is cool and neat. <clears throat> right, the lads are staying close, but Carter's still just tailing me. This is part of like the first circuit race most wanted. Oh, is it? Hmm. Oh, watch out. We're going around the uh, no longer golf course, now the quarry. Where would it be the first circuit racing quick play menu? I would not be surprised. Who the f where the fuck in the U.S. has an 80 mile per hour speed limit? Texas. The golf is cancelled. <laughs> golf isn't real, it can't hurt you. We're talking America, so it's 75 miles per hour. Kind of slowly pulling away from the gang. What <laughs> the fuck is a kilometer? There's the finish line. There's our first boss race complete. Marcus didn't even beat his uh, crewmates. 
freaking the glove want uh beat him cash baby Ooh, 18 for Carter six points for top speed nice okay. all right I lost fan square now you can recruit me if you want me in your crew something you should know though I'm a brawler but I also have a subclass called Fixer. Oh? That means if you use me as your wingman, I can fix the race so you'll get a little extra cash every time you win. Oh, really? That's interesting. Okay. So we have, we have a class called Fixer that gives us more money if they're used. Hmm. We've defeated Marcus. <clears throat> Oh god, we've unlocked a lot of things. Uh, we've unlocked two cars. Basically the full suite of performance parts. And we've unlocked body kits, wing, and vinyls. Cool. Roof skill increased. Carter's 55 out of 200. Um... Total crew respect, 69 out of 1,000. Nice. And we can recruit Kita and Marcus. Want to go to the recruiting screen now? Sure, why not? Let's go. Me and a few ex-Lucky Sevens want to help you get to the bottom of mix accident. Uh -huh. So you can pick which of us you'd like to ride with you. Okay. Your crew has a respect level. Now pay attention. That's the total of every driver's skill. Their skill goes up the more you race and win. If you don't have enough respect... New recruits will want to roll with you. Okay. So go ahead. Pick your first two crew members, and they'll ride with you. Raise your respect, you get to add to your posse. That's simple. Cool. <laughs> Carter, part of the McBeaches. <laughs> Alright, that's interesting. So. Uh, we can recruit Keita now. Level 1 assassin. Apparently I need one more respect point to recruit Marcus. Are you fucking me? Although Keita already has 30. Ooh, we can actually have bios on group members as well. Look at this. Kia is a proud assassin from the Lucky Sevens and prefers to only talk business while she's behind the wheel. She also keeps up a popular blog on what she writes about everything and anything to do with driving. Nerd. Alright, we recruit Kita. We now have 99 points, which means I can recruit Marcus. So he's a brawler and a fixer. So a brawler who can give me more money. That's popular on the internet. <laughs> Drives a 240SX. Marcus likes to get it. Likes to get in your face. He loves fights and will take down people that are bigger than him. Well then. He also has the fixer subclass. Meaning every time you win a race with him, you get a little extra cash. Something tells me that might come in handy. Hell yeah. Alright, we got our new recruits. Means, let's take a look at our uh, crew screen. <clears throat> no recruits available to recruit, but we can now assign different wingmen. So, uh, we have. Actually, let's take a look at uh, Carter and Dylan's bios here. So, we've got Carter and his Lancer. Carter joined up with the Lucky Sevens back when the crew was just forming up. Excuse me. He lacked confidence, but Mick recognized that the dim diminutive, that's a word, Carter had both skill and tenacity. Under Mick's guidance, the diminutive, they liked it so much they used it twice, Carter developed as both a driver and a brawler. Carter's loyalty to Mick, Mick is unquestioned, and he'll do anything to uncover who is behind Mick's death. Homies till the end. And then Dylan, he just kind of was here. Dylan got into racing last year when the Lucky Sevens all tore past his old beat-up sedan on 5th Street. Oh, really? Why is there a... Why, why is there a abbreviation period on 5th? Weird. He swore that day he'd build the car and hone the talent needed to one day join their crew. When the Sevens broke up, he decided to find another crew and rise again. Hmm. Cool and neat. 
All right, so uh, we can select two different wingmen, and then we have uh, two on the bench. So I guess we'll pick replace Carter with Marcus, since uh, they're both brawlers, but Marcus is a fixer. And I'm actually gonna, well, I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep Dylan on my roster, because having a drafter is seems to be pretty good. I mean, Kita's a, Kita assassin being able to drop spike strips is interesting, but I think we'll uh, stick to that. Um, again, we can we can just customize their cars for them. We can we can change body kits. They have like pre-equipped like body kits and everything like applied that I can just go and. Just, change their shit. I do want to, uh... Let's see, what color do we have? I think this is it. This is the color I have on the Evo, right? Yeah! Will I do this every time? Maybe. Maybe. Actually. So let's see. Hang on. We got paint. Ooh, we can paint the rims as well. Okay. Well, can't paint stock rims, but... Alright. I'm gonna just go to the tent. Apply to all crew cars. There we go. The crew's name. Mick Bitches. That's the name of the crew. We're at 7%. By the way, we've owned 1 out of 14 tur turfs. Alright. Uh, so, first up, performance harps. We unlocked some performance upgrades. Actually, we've unlocked some cars. Let's see what we unlocked. Now we can purchase a Cobalt. And a Golf. I don't have enough cash for them, but the Cobalt and Golf are now available to purchase. That's cool. I'm going to put my money into performance, though, on the Evo. So we've unlocked all the Stage 1 kits. <clears throat> uh, so engine kit. In looks like it increases top speed a little bit. We don't have really the percentage system like in most wanted, so it's kind of hard to see. It costs 1800 cash, but we'll give the Evo a little more top speed. Uh, handling, we have handling kit one. Also, no descriptions for the parts. Um, this does increase handling a bit for a thousand. And for chassis, we have upgrade one, 500. Or it looks like a minimal increase in top speed and acceleration. So so little I can barely tell. Turbo. The turbo does a lot. The turbo adds a lot. <coughs> they got rid of the paragraph on polyurethane bushings. Literally unplayable. <laughs> Yo, what about my air freshener to make my car drive better? And we finally have access to nitrous. We have two stages, just like in uh, Most Wanted. 2,500, damn. All right. Sure. Cool. There's our performance. Now, we've unlocked street body kits. Bet your ass and put it on here. Let's take a look at it. Looks nice. 1,000 cash. We've unlocked spoilers. We've got Grifter. Aeromax. Those are the only two. Hmm. Aeromax is actually cheaper than Grifter. Um. Hmm. Doesn't really fit the Evo. What about Grifter.
Fits a little better. Um, I'm going to buy it just to have a custom spoiler on there. It's cuz. And then we all unlock some vinyls. Which looks like they come pre-painted. Yeah, the vinyls come pre-painted, so I can't change colors, it looks like. Interesting. We got Scribble, Rival, Leak, Lightning. Next generators. Crew for like pushing the air straight over the Tribal 2, Electric Boogaloo. I put Tribal 2 on there just because of the red to match the uh, window tent. Icarus. So these look similar to those that were in Most Wanted, just pre-colored. <clears throat> and some of them have like multiple layers, like a, a drop shadow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sinister. That looks weird. Oh, we still we have these. Third game in a row we got we got the uh got Kanoichi here. Ooh, that looks nice actually. Infernal. Magical. Piston head. Dragon. Oh. And it looks like the rest of the vinyls are locked to the different crews. <clears throat> um Yeah, I think I'm gonna put Tribal 2 on this. I'll just apply it to my car. I'll keep the vinyls on the other cars as they were. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, we actually have some aftermarket rims already available. I didn't even realize this. Mm, just Cyclones, though. Yes. Just my car. Yes. And now we can paint the rims. Blood for the blood god, baby. Let's go. All right. Cool. <coughs> oh, we're looking good. Excuse me. Looking good. So, with that, we now own the mountains territory. We have the inner city unlocked to us. Run by Striker, apparently. Not DJ Striker, though. So uh, let's go ahead and go back to free roam. So I am enjoying the free roaming. And take a look at our maps here, see what we got. Okay, so it only shows the events of the current chapter. That's actually nice. That way we don't have much bloat. Event bloat on the map. I like the slap knockout's closest, so we'll guess we'll do the, that one first. Whoa! Oh hey, yeah, we have some nitrous now. I can zoom. I see a crate. Boom. Oh, hey, five hundred cash. Nice. Oh. Did I get too far away? I must have got too far away. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Unexpected. I actually kind of want to fuck with the police. Attention all units. A vehicle moving at a high rate of speed was just seen. 
We haven't done any police related stuff yet. Since they're not ever present. Like in Most Wanted. I'm causing problems on purpose. We'll do this race in a minute. I heard the chatter. I know they're aware of my existence. Show yourselves, cowards. Also, just kind of farting around here. No? No one? No one wants to fuck on me? Alright. Oh, I see a box. I see a crate. I knew there had to be a bonus crate around here somewhere. Found it. Another thousand cash, nice. Oh, I see a white arrow. Hang on. I'm back here. What is that white arrow? What do you represent? Also, the map actually zooms a little bit, depending on the uh, speed I'm carrying, which is interesting. <clears throat> oh god. Is that a police car? Yeah, it's a police car. Hey, what's up? Alright. We are in our first pursuit, and it looks like the pursuits are handled just like a console game. We got police chasing me, there's busted and evade uh, bars. The police cars have health bars, so I can actually fight them, unlike most wanted. Which is nice. Oh, they're, they're aggro, though, like in Most Wanted. They can, they can fuck me up. Yeah, these have been the most, uh... <laughs> they're easy to outsmart, at least. Get the quick evade. Who the fuck is this chasing me? Oh, it's an undercover police car, I think. Chasing me. It's like it's not flashing its lights or anything. Hmm. Well, I need to, uh... <coughs> break free here. Carbon. This is Need for Speed Carbon on the PSP. Who the fuck are you? This fucking dude with his lights off. With his mega rubber banding. Hello. Oh! Trouble! Alright, I think I need to actually start taking out the cop cars here. going to start causing problems. There is no heat meter. I'm noticing like a ring like a, a ring around the mini-map that was used for the heat and most wanted, but, I don't, but it's not used for anything here so far. We can fight the cops, however we are fighting very poorly. 
They're still pretty strong. But at least they have health bars now. It's, it's honestly just the same cops as most wanted, but with health bars. Jesus Christ. Alright, I think we got one down, because so we're down to five. From six to five. Oh, hello. Oh, we got another one down. Down to four. <clears throat> oh my god, my ass. Run! Run, bitch. Oh, oh, they fucked it. They all fucked it. Alright, so yeah, the police chases in this work just like the console version. Outrun the police to a certain extent. When you get into cooldown mode, once cooldown mode's done, you win. That was a four minute pursuit. Immobilized two cops, got ten respect. We unlocked some art. I played the original Carbon. I played it when it was new, but I have not streamed it. Well, instead of adamantium, they have reinforced titanium, yeah. Alright, that was interesting. That was cool. Okay. We'll have to do more of that at some point. Uh, for now, let's actually, like, <clears throat> go back to what I was originally going to do in this. Start doing some races here. See? Oh, the camera gets super shaky when you're on the grass. Oh my god. Alright. Here we go. Lap knockout. Factory circuit for three laps. 2,000 cash. Let's do this. That's right, no crewmates in the uh, lap knockouts. Now we got PK, Glover, and Crunch. Makes sense we have similar uh, opponent racers since we're st still in the uh, We're in a different territory, but it's owned by the same uh, crew. So I expect to see the same names. Crunch Pandicoot. Penalty kick. <laughs> PK fire! What, what if PK is just Ness from Earthbound? Excuse me, Ness from Smash Bros. I am Nitrous. Okay, Nitrous does recharge, I assume. The nitrous recharge works like it did in Most Wanted, where as long as you're driving over 100 miles per hour, it recharges. Fifteen, we'll see. Oh, that's a wall. Okay. I don't need Billy to recharge it. Just like underground rivals. You had one tank you couldn't recharge. Oh. What what's that guy doing? Sir, that's not the road, sir. You okay? Oh, well, Ness is knocked out. Game. I'm taking the sign with me. I'm no longer taking the sign with me.
Come back to one of your trucks. Yeah, DHL went out of business. Either that or they, uh, they sacrificed some blood for the blood god. That does bring up a point. So far, no... No police chatter or anything in the actual... during the races. Which I'm very not used to after playing Most Wanted 5.1.0. Like, alright, time for a race, and by a race I mean... Police chaos. So far, there's been zero police chaos, or even zero mention of police in the races. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Next ball flashes when it recharges. Yeah. A nice indicator, like, hey, we're recharging. Also, it, I just confirmed it does work exactly as it does didn't most wanted. As soon as you hit 100 miles per hour, it starts recharging. The term race was used loosely when the cops were involved, for real. Captain Crunch has been eliminated. Now be in the glove. Those actual like street objects slow you down. Actually, they have a little bit of weight to them. Crunch Bandicoot. Uh, the, I'm assuming yes, AJ. I'm assuming that graffiti is from the uh, is the crew tag that owns this district. Watch out! Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out! Ooh. Oh yeah, Nitro, I remember that. Whoever's leading just paints, literally paints the walls with their uh, crew colors. <clears throat> Glove is keeping up. Relatively. <laughs> Need for speed to split <laughs> Splat Tim, it's him. I ween. Take that, fuckers. Give me my money. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, excuse me. Actually, now I'm curious. Now I am curious. He does it. I want to go <clears throat> back over here. And so far, I haven't really paid attention to if the graffiti actually exists on the walls, like, when not racing. But my George has been curious. Oh shit, yeah, there we go. So in this area of the map, we have the, uh, the McBitches graffiti tag. That's sick. That's right, we own this place. The 
This, this area belongs to Ste Sleeve McDitchell and the McBitchells. Anyways, let's do this uh, sprint race. 2.1 mile, 17.50 cash. Let's go. Oh, we got six cars now because I got both of my crewmates here. Oh shit. And with uh, Marcus here, that means I'm going to earn more than 1750 cash. Wee! Big air. Activate the powers of both. Marcus shit fuck up and then... Homie gives me speed. Instead of 2v4. Actually, yeah, it is kind of the trios. 3v3. Three wise. Didn't realize that until now. I'm angry, Marcus. Oh, I got all the wake. Drafter is definitely best used in turns, or er, in turns on straights. Hey, there's no target. Where is that pump? Boss, where's our target? I'm having fun. Where Don't mind target? me. So that one sprint race in the first district was six miles. It took me like a minute. This one's allegedly two miles. And we're approaching two minutes. Hmm. I think they might have their their uh, distances a little bit off. Oh, pfft. Fuck that taxi. And then, yep. And then Dylan just slams on the brakes to give me the win. Multi-21. Get fucked. So we got 70 bonus cash. From the fix. Not as much as I thought I was going to get, but hey, it's more than nothing. <clears throat> okay, and the skill points get split between the two. So I earned 18 total, so, which, so they each got 9. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Tags out let you get the pin, yeah. Alright. See. Oh, I'm all the way over here now, shit. Okay. Uh Alright, I think this is the closest event and it's two miles away. <coughs> Is that a crate? No, it's just a barrel. A hollow barrel. GPS is bad at me, I need to be over here. He's doing some pulsating. I don't know where it was trying to guide me, but, uh... <laughs> I guess it pulsates whenever I'm on the wrong road and it gets mad.
So I gotta be on the lookout for crates. I have a feeling that there's just gonna be a part of this game where I'm just free roaming randomly looking for crates. Actually, before I do this event, knew it. I found some art. Okay, let's go do the race now. Oh, there's a circuit race here. I haven't done this one yet. <clears throat> Urban Technical. 2.1 miles, 2 laps. 2,000 cash, let's go. Heads up! You can now have two wingmen with you in a crew race. Yeah. Look in your race hood, and you'll see what button you press to trigger that crew member's special move. You're, you're, you're one race behind me, Carter. I'm assuming this was supposed to be the first race. Did the game expect me to do this race first. has to charge up and then we uh, shit fuck up. Destroy the glove. Boosting. Oh god. Catch on to my draft. Away we go. Big speed. Oh god, a turn. It's fine, we're on the highway. Now they're just gonna vibe behind me. <laughs> There's no one in range. Oh, no, it's in space. Charged up, let's grab. Engine instantly combusts if a brawler touches them, yeah. They just poof. Although Aryan is uh caught back up very quickly. He's used the power of the tomato. There's no one in range. Acknowledge. I'm all over. Get in behind me. Run away. Yeah, I'm starting to think the race distances are not very accurate. This one that was allegedly also two mi two point one miles. Mazdas, and occasionally someone will just blow their engine. Yeah, just driving around. All of a sudden, you just hear and some smoke. I'm in the open. Let's go. Final lap. Hmm, when my shift is money. <laughs> I want to wait until we get on the highway to use uh use Dylan again. Maybe I shouldn't have waited. A lot longer run to the highway than I thought it was going to be. I'm rolling on it. Get in the draft. Oh, hi, hi, Dylan. And he like intentionally goes wide to let me back past them. The the crew dynamic is very interesting in just how much they just ride behind you and how they go out of their way to make sure they're behind you. Like they're in no way trying to win this race for themselves. I'm all over. It's like this is a weird, this is a weird, uh, comparison to make, but it reminds me of Sonic Heroes. 
we're just in our team formations. And sometimes we switch formations to use the ability of the other team members. Yeah. It definitely makes them feel like less than like actual participants in the race. But they definitely feel more like wingmen. Like for all intents and purposes, this is still a four car race. It's just... My one counts as three. <laughs> off so I can win. <coughs> Ta-da! Oh, got an extra 80 this time. I wonder <coughs> I wonder if the fixer bonus increases the more their skill points increased. I'm, I'm guessing yes. That would be something that makes sense. Alright, got 20 skill points to share evenly between the two. So Marcus is at 71, Dylan's at 36. Cool. We get to fight Metal Sonic. I wish. I wish. Where's my Crush 40? Thank you for the resub, Ash. Alright. Let's see. Where is our next closest event? This crew takedown. I think that's what I was originally going to do, and then I got distracted by looking for crates and shit. <clears throat> All right. So time for time for violence. The game mode. I love how this has a distance, even though it's open world. And there's no finish line. They really were just throwing numbers out there with the uh, the the race distances. All right, only need three takedowns. Yeah, need for speed road rage. Oh, this is a place. I bet there's a crate in here in the overworld. Excuse moi. I wish to destroy your vehicle. I still don't got him. There we go. He gave me a love tap and that took his car out. At least my tactic of just laying on them with side swipes works that I used in uh, Most Wanted. <clears throat> Don't tell me, Ash. I want to find out for myself. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get some bonus takedowns. Oh, oh. I saw that. Saw him slam on the brakes. Still didn't react in time. The successful juke. Fucker. Now this version of the game does not have speed breaker. I do like how they actually like scramble and go different ways. They're not all just on the same path. A scramble, baby. A big one. I don't know why I slowed down so much. Yeah, whatever. <coughs> we got four out of three. Impressive how well they handle the respawns. Yeah. It is. We unlock more art. Sick. 
Oh hey, we landed right on top of an event. I've already done this event though, so never mind. It's a deep cut. I watched way too much Too Fast Too Furious when it was uh, new for my... For <laughs> way too much. Alright, where the hell was that little, uh... A little warehouse area. Let's see, we started here. Was it like right in here, I think? Or over here? It was over here. Okay, I am heading north, so. Luckily, the mini map uh, doesn't rotate. Which is actually nice, so I can I know which direction I'm going in at all times. Oh, I saw I saw a crate. Can't escape me, bitch. Just a thousand cash. think. Found it. Damn, I'm good. Ooh, we have a little, little hidden nook in here. That's cute. Alright, another thousand cash. Sarah Art. <clears throat> so Sarah, you're like single now? Now that my brother's dead? You uh Okay, I need to go back south. <clears throat> For the the races. Completely at least four, because I'm getting the, uh, flashing for the boss race. Oh, I thought that was another racer, now it's just a traffic car going weirdly quick. Who is that? Is that a police car? Or is that a racer? Looks like a racer. I want to fuck with him. I want to fuck on him. Nope, it was a police car. Never mind. I'm stupid. Yeah, it was a wagon. Alright. JK. Lamal. <laughs> Apparently you can find other racers on the streets, so that's what I was the one to do. Uh, the highway is not a good place to be for uh, evading the police, I don't think. They're actually using the uh, the white and black cars for once instead of just the, the blue ones. Like in uh, Most Wanted. The black cars were only used for the uh, roadblocks. Get swoosed. <laughs> that actually got him. <laughs> I uh, got almost all of them. Got one of them was uh, smart enough. Damn, they rubber band quick. <clears throat> like when they get a visual on me, they're on me, on me. Oh my fucking god! AMA, the American Motorcycle Association. Big zoomies, oh my god. My ass. <clears throat> Ooh, 
Whoa! Alright, the police are still funny. Hilarious. That has not changed. They still just do funny things. Got a lot more health than the uh, racers, that's for sure. They got a lot of health. So I can actually fight them, but they're still hard to take down. each other. Ooh. Oh. Excuse me. Mental gym. I right, got at least one out of commission now. I think two actually. Oh shit, we're going back to the highway, damn it. It's not where I wanted to go. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh! <laughs> he ass packed his partner. That was funny. That was really funny. <clears throat> and they all fucked it. Alright, we're in cooldown. It's fine. Yeah! Did it. Only a mobilized one. Okay. Gained 12 respect. Unlocked more art. We also got cash, get cash from that. So I guess, if I want some extra cash, just fuck with the police. I am on the opposite side of the map now. That was a problem. I am not where I need to be. Is that a crate? Or a box? Oh, no, it's just a garbage can. <coughs> Oops. 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 It's fine. There's a little, there's a little wobble still, still in this game, like it wasn't most wanted. I don't think it's as bad, but it's still there. Ooh, yellow. That has got to be a racer. This is what I was wanting to fuck with. Alright. Rival crew challenge. Let's see. Escape inner city. Cash reward 1500. Respect points 10. Make it to the checkpoint within the time limit or else you get nothing but failure. Okay. I wanted to do one of these instant races. Very curious. Coffee from Most Wanted. Yes, this is a a portion. This map is a portion of Rockport with things rearranged a little bit. Haha! -ha, fuck you all. Going this way. Oh. So the yellow arrows in the overworld are rival racers, and then the white arrows are the police. Finally got that established. <clears throat> oh! 
I think that dude just took himself out by hitting me that hard. Run, bitch, run! Made it. Made it. Got our money and respect. Okay, that was cool. We can just kind of do instant races like that. Okay. Anyways, back to what I was trying to do. I'll actually do it this time. The the lovely world of getting distracted by things in the open world. And free roam. instead. Yeah, we have ways to money grind and just kind of do stuff. Alright, anyways. Uh, time to do another escape event. This time it's actually the, in an actual event. <laughs> escape from the enemy crew, get out of their territory. Alright. Let's do this. Got a minute 20. 1500 cash. <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's follow the arrow. Gotta get away, and I run. I run so far away. And I run. I run all night and day. Whoa! Alright, well, he impeded me a little bit, but he also died. See the finish line. Go! Yeah! Hey, we unlocked more art. Cool. Alright. We got... Two more events to do. Okay, I'm actually curious about something, though. It's just a, a minor curiosity. Oh, hi. How you doing? What's up? Oh, he's like, you want to go? You want to go? Aha! I knew there had to be a crate in here somewhere. I want to go in here. Okay. <laughs> I was I was just curious to see if I like gradually. There's my brother apparently. Gradually unlock stuff, or if I just actually unlock shit as I complete the uh, stuff. Looks like it's a lock everything at the boss thing. All right, what do I have left? I have a sprint race. I have a circuit race. I assume both of them are on the southern 
side of the uh, district. <clears throat> Actually, let me look at the GPS menu again. No, it doesn't tell me if I've completed it or not. Okay. Eh, we'll figure it out. Just head south for now. We have an unknown number of code six racers. That I've done. And for a red and a green. Not that green though. Damn it. Ugh, I hate being even minorly ill like I am right now. It's so annoying. Alright, have we done the circuit race? We have not done the circuit race. Okay, cool. Inner city run, two laps. Yeah, you and me. Let's go. The appliance store. I want to go in the appliance store. RGP's. Now, now I'm looking at the street signs. Oh, that that truck just got fucked. I actually like the. Uh, The uh, destructible objects. They're not destructible, but like the uh, just random objects like trash cans and benches and stuff. I don't think those were in either of the other uh, PSP Need for Speeds yet. Oh! Oops! <laughs> That's what happens when you draft into a tight corner. <laughs> Just fucking die. Don't do that again. <clears throat> right, looks like Marcus slowed down uh, the glove. Good. Fuck it, let's just go for it. Nope. Get out of here. I wonder if the other dude act I wonder if Aryan actually got a piece of his wake. Got a speed boost. Kinda looked like he did. This one really own the city. It's twenty twenty four, no one owns anything except the billionaires. They own you. Boom. You'd be pretty thick. Oh, big air. Wasn't ready for that. Blah, 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 blah. Shit, tight turn coming. Truck. Ain't no carbon. Yeah, it is. It's 
It's carbon on the PSP. Sorry I read that correctly. Explode billionaires. I agree. Typo in reason. Oh, billion a a a a Ron. Hell yeah. I win. Sweet. Ooh, big XP. Alright, Marcus is almost halfway to level 2. Sick. Okay, so now if I go s just a little further south, we should find the last sprint race. And then we can take on the boss of this district. Never mind, I've already done this one. Shit. Okay. Where's the other sprint race? I think it's a sprint race I have to do. Maybe? Absolutely a sprint race. Okay, where's the other sprint race? Where is the other red flag? Oh. Oh, it's up here. Shit. Alright, we're going on a road trip. We're going on a trip in our Lancer rocket ship. Uh... Hey Ash, uh, back, ex exclamation point backseating, by the way. That is all. Someone please type that in chat. Truck! There it is. I just like the wording of the command. The Reaper uh, special. <coughs> Damn it. Whoa! Sir, you're not supposed to be driving on that side. Of the what the? Okay. Sure. What the fuck are traffic laws? <laughs> Alright, sprint race, let's go. <laughs> Florida driver ass shit, for real. Excuse me. I'm good to go. Go for it. The time is now. Well, I didn't use up all of his rational ability. Which means recharge won't take as long. This draft, bruh. Oh, hi, how you doing? That also works. Oh my god, we're going fast. Oh, we're going real fast. Oh god, oh fuck, oh jeez, oh man. <laughs> that was very funny, actually. Oh, what? What happened to Marcus? He just stopped. 
Mar you okay, Marcus? Did you run out of gas? Did you blow a tire? <laughs> he baked before we shaked. I mean, it worked out. Let's go. ended up carrying more speed. This is just really funny. Mid-air victory, let's go. My cock is huge. Hey, Marcus, okay. So the bar is not... Send a message. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mora. Very cool. Um, so that bar is not experience to the next level. It's just their experience bar, or skill bar. Bar bar. bar. So Marcus is up to level 2 now. By reaching a hundred skill points. And we have completed. I keep forgetting I don't have to pause for that. We completed all seven events in this district. Sorry. So we can uh, take on Striker. Take on not DJ Striker. Let's go. Um, oh, okay, it's a takedown event. Interesting. Claire at the top of his trans. Guilty Gear moment. Alright, bozos. So I guess in order to, uh, own this area of the city, I just have to uh, be violent. <laughs> that should not have worked. And yet, here we are. die. Alright, one more to go. Flower shop. We paid those jumps. Alright, well, I've defeated... Strikers challenge. I was not expecting this to not just be a race. Looks like I guess we get a bonus of a hundred cash for each extra takedown. We actually do earn more money the more uh, the more better we do. Extra credit bucks. Oh! Oops. I think I'm only earning 300 extra credit bucks after all that. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh well. Got it. Completed. Cool. Oh. So we got, okay, so it was a two-piece. So we had to do the crew takedown, and now we are racing, racing Striker. In a point-to-point uh, -point race. Or sprint race, excuse me. Interesting. Sergeant, me and my pal Crunch have been thinking about switching crews. If you could take our boss out, we'll be looking for a new leader. So it's Arjun, not Aryan. Okay. Tim, they really said, you know, you kicked our ass. 
kicked our asses in so many races. M maybe we should go to your your crew. This is Evo versus Evo. Should we even have the same wing? That's funny. Same wing, same body kit. Evo versus Evo showdown. Excuse you. Fastest way around is the shortest way around, don't you know that, striker? Hmm, this is an entire squeal. That wasn't too bad of a race. Got him. <coughs> Very good. Racing. The boss is pretty much finished out here. Me and my pal Crunch will join up with you if you want us. There's something you should know. I have a subclass too called Mechanic. That means if you use me as your wingman, I'll give you a little extra speed boost in every race. Oh really? Ah, how that works. Also, the uh, portrait for. Oh shit, recollections of the past. Who? Yo, baby, what's up? The party's over here. We're supposed to be celebrating. After all, this is all for you. Let me tell you something. You're gonna miss all the fine ladies, man. Got a smorgasbord, if you know what I mean. I can't promise you anything, but I'll try and remember to save some of the ladies for you. <laughs> okay. Might have found the culprit here. <clears throat> he was, uh... We were, we were looking at that picture of, uh... Sarah and Mick. Pretty hard. Like it was one of the East Siders. Coming back from Underground 1. Alright, defeat a striker. We've unlocked a new car. We got a couple more performance parts and new wings. <clears throat> Interesting. We got a couple new recruits. We got Arjun and uh, Crunch. So Arjun is a drafter slash mechanic. And Crunch is a brawler. Okay. Look at these bios. He's in a Mazda Speed 3. When not in a race, Arjun likes to do yoga and take care of his bonsai trees. Sure. He also has the mechanic subclass, meaning your car will get a slight performance boost if you have him in a race with you. I like the sound of that. Then Crunch. Crunch is a very smart. He thinks he's smart. He looks smart, but he isn't smart. Hey, let's check out the bio of this, uh, this new recruit. He's fucking stupid. God, he's stupid. He think he ain't stupid, but he's stupid. Bro. Oh, we can only have a maximum of five in our crew. Okay, so we actually have to replace him with somebody. You know? I think we'll just, uh, we'll just... Means our car is gonna break. You know what? Nah. I'm good. It's fine. Shit. Wrong thing. Is this Need for Speed Carbon on the City? Um. 
Well, if you read, if you looked at the thumbnail of the stream and also the uh, the category in the description, yes, yes, it is. <clears throat> can we replace crew slots from any time? Answer: Yes, yes, we can. Interesting. Okay. So he's just kind of in there now. All right. Um. Well, since Arjun's a draft, also a drafter, but also a mechanic, I'm gonna replace Dylan with him in our main wingman slot. Cool. All right, let's look at the uh, upgrades we got. So we got stage two chassis upgrade gives us a little more acceleration and speed. Again, chassis upgrade somehow not uh, increasing handling. Only costs a thousand though for stage two. And we got stage two turbo, which does a lot to speed and acceleration. We'll grab that. Uh, we also unlocked new spoilers. Got switchblade and just split switchblade. Wait, did we unlock another one? Oh yeah, we also unlocked drag. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Um, let's see, I have 31,000 cash. Ooh, we unlocked the solstice. Hello. Interesting. Hmm. The real solstice hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have enough cash to afford it, but I can't really do much in terms of upgrades. You know, I'm gonna buy it. Let's see what we can get out of it. So I got the. I can afford the engine kit. Um, cannot afford the turbo. Cannot afford nitrous either. Can't afford the handling kit and the chassis upgrades. Yes, <laughs> that's one of the main reasons why I wanted this. I'm like, oh, solstice. I've never seen this in console carbon. Ooh. Okay, we're not going to use the solstice yet, but once I get enough money, we will. Um, hang on. I need to, uh, need to repaint Arjun's, uh, Arjun's car here. Oh, he's got a lot. Oh, he's got all the paint colors unlocked already. Ooh. There we go. Now he matches. Yeah. Whoops. Not what I meant to do, but hey, whatever. We can we can go ahead and save. All right, we defeated one crew. That's cool. Neat. 
All right, well, poor boy. Unfortunate name. All right, let's see what we got here. See where the events are scattered. Okay. Oh, we got five there in this little loop. Where's the other two? Assuming there's seven. There's one. There's another. Okay. Not bad. We'll start with this race. Oh, this looks a little suspicious. Okay, no. Never mind. Still on the lookout of, uh... This Evo feels rear-wheel drive. It's, it's fucking with me. <laughs> Alright, starting with the crew takedown. Need nine takedowns, damn. I have to get five wins out of the seven events in order to take on the boss. Oh. Stay on the road. Don't lose it now. You'll have to do better than that. If my little brother drives like a grandma, it's gonna make me look bad. You're almost a second slower than last time. You know you're supposed to improve? And I ain't making this up. Time doesn't lie, you know that. Accurate like an atomic clock. Yeah, Dad kept it in good condition. <laughs> Gotta say that for him. Hey, maybe one day you'll get it from me. But I doubt it. Now we're gonna keep doing this until you get it right. Damn, tough training. <laughs> Why is he so mean? Yeah, what the fuck, Mick? Bro, you're my brother. Why are you being so harsh? Not my fault, I'm slow. <laughs> More like prick. Got him. Oh, we got a we got a large pile of cars here. Right for the wrecking. good because I need to take out nine cars. Ah, you juked me. Damn it. Thomas McDipshit. Got him. Oh, hey, look. They resp- The damaged cars respawned. I shouldn't have done that. I'm so fucked. I have fucked myself so hard here by doing that. Cyrus Cobalt feels so weird. That was a that was a big old. Oop. I don't think I'm gonna get nine takedowns. It's just a hunch. Just a hunch. Yeah, that was uh, very not good. That did not go well at all. Only got three, and I needed nine. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Yeah, maybe my dead brother was right. Maybe I do suck. You know what? I'm gonna stay on the highway this time. They just kind of spawn where I'm in front of where I'm going, anyways. Use that to my advantage. I'm just staying on the more open roads. F fewer uh, splits. Yeah, seeing that East Siders on the Cobalt is weird. East Siders uh, thing. Shout out to the return of the East Siders, by the way. So we're doing 
doing significantly better this time. Six out of nine, nice. Just wanted to say that before I got my next takedown. <clears throat> hit me. Oh, he almost hit me. There we go, got him. Alright, we've met the goal. Now for bonus. Maybe. I can actually, like, take these fuckers down. There we go. Yeah, 100 bonus for each takedown. Extra takedown. There we go. Just had to go the right way. We got it. Ooh, we unlock new art. Cool. Hey, ween. Got more money to put towards the uh, the solstice build. I am all the way over here now, though. Oh god. All right, we got a long way to travel. <coughs> I'm gonna set the GPS to this since it's the closest event. Ooh, fuck. Damn, GPS got so mad it said fuck you. I'm out. Really said I'm out picky. That's a deep cut. I did very much go the wrong way, though. I forgot to look at the, the, uh, the EA tracks for this game. Alright, where the hell am I? <laughs> Getting lost. Okay, I'm right where I need to be. Right. Time for the delivery race. Uh, 2,500 cash. Let's go. Thought the race was a cop? <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, because I have Arjun here. With the mechanic skill, I guess my car's a little more powerful. More speed. I got confused by the GPS arrow honking it, uh, being mad at me. Yeah, I need some speed, dog. Five, 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 store it.
Oh yeah, whoever was in charge of licensing music for EA games at this during this time were they didn't miss. Of course, I'm of the opinion of they still don't miss, it's just... It doesn't uh, fit my taste nowadays, but it still, it still checks out. There's only two others in this race. JK's still here. We got Sean. That is a big boat. Holy shit, that's a big boat. Look at that boat. Look at the size of that boat. Wrong menu. Oh, God damn it! I'm over here again. On a little road trip. <laughs> what I appreciate of modern Need for Speed soundtracks is they fit the, uh. Oh! Box! Crate! They fit the, uh. Holy fuck. Uh. They fit the, uh, the, the culture of the areas they're based off of. And while it's not music that I personally am into, it, it fits for the game and its location. That's what I appreciate about, appreciate about the modern soundtracks. There doesn't seem to be much in terms of cops patrolling. At least so far. We'll see if the numbers increase the more we progress. For now, let's race. Urban Technical. Two laps. Let's go. These guys are pathetic. Beep. We got West, Racho, and Crumpet. There is a there is a there is a driver in the East Siders named Crumpet. What the, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> player loser. Sucks to suck. God, tight turn. West. Now his name is DJ West, not West. I almost want a sandbag just to give uh, Marcus something to do. Sandbag, let one of them pass me and then immediately sick him.
It looks like if I press the button it again, I can disable the draft. He's excited. Come on. Okay, pressing the button again does not disable it. I just gotta drive out of the uh, the wake, I guess. Wait, neck itches. Neck no longer itches. When y'all nerds pass me, I can give Marcus something to do. Kill. <laughs> he killed him. Killed him good. The west was sent east. In the city. Uh, we own a couple districts in the city. But not the whole city yet. Time to get going. So, yeah. Actually, what's a dude named West doing with the East Siders? Hang on. Hang on. Pass me. Pass me. He's scared. They're scared to pass me. <laughs> They're scared of Marcus. Oh my fucking god. Dude, they literally do not want to pass me. Oh my fucking god. What are we doing here? What are we doing here, lads? Dude, there was a lot of mustard in that AI. They're trying their best to not pass me. Watch out, I'm coming up the side. Get in the draft, it won't last forever. Time to get going. Oh, he's dead. Well, that certainly was a uh, race of all time. Alrighty then. That's two events down. Head over here. Oh, I see a crate. I missed the crate. Yeah, this is PSP. I missed the crate again. There we go. Oh, oh. Hang on, there's a racer over here. Um. You cool? You good? You good, dog? Trying his best. Crew takedown. These punks won some. Take them down to complete the challenge. Green coos. Okay. Let's do it. Wait, is this the same as the crew takedown I just did? Burn me in the same spot. I got not. I got to take out nine. Hmm. So it looks like the random. 
I guess the random drivers in the uh, overworld just allow you to just give you like repeat events or something. Hmm. Makes it a little less interesting. I mean, these races are kind of completely optional, or events are kind of completely optional anyways. Whoa. Go! Sires more like bitches. Bitches derogatory, not bitches Caro. I'm not the East Siders. Shit, I gotta get one more quick. Alright, I got one more quick. She'll deal with me stuck in my head. That's interesting. Yeah, we got some extra cash and, cash and respect, I guess. X out. Oh. oh. I've already done this. How much? I guess I can't tell. I have like a couple more races and I should be able to uh, either finish or get close to finishing upgrades on the Solstice. Yeah, I've done that circuit race. Yeah, I've done that circuit race. Let's see, that's the takedown event I just did for the second time. <laughs> oh, I think I see it. It's all bonus crate. Sure did. The NFS crate. Prime is vengeance, guys. For the true king's attention. Oh, is that like initial D? I'm guessing. Since it's on your brain. Lap knockout. Found one I haven't done yet. Let's go. Got Sean Juice in West. The juice is loose. <clears throat> Actually, I'm curious. Okay. Damn, I can't look at the map. Adopt a highway. What that billboard said. It's 
still no police presence in actually in just races. Childhood PSP game. Nice. This is my first time actually playing it. Enjoying it so far. <laughs> yes. All comes back to the Beetle Adventure Racing. Okay, West is actually kind of quick. Hello? What the fuck did he put in that Mazda 3? I think he's in a Mazda 3. Or he's in a Cobalt, I can't remember. Wasn't paying enough attention. That's yeah, a Mazda 3. Jazz back here. All right, final lap. Rip Sean. Interesting how this game just does not allow you to use the shortcuts in these races. That's a wall. And that's a dub. Man, Wes, Wes was really quick on, like, first half of this race, and then I figured it out, I guess. What if I told you there's other ports of carbon in the city, such as DS, GBA, and Zebo? What if I told you that I've already played the GBA version of carbon in the city? Because I have. Now I'm playing the PSP version. Okay, there's a circuit race here and a, an escape event there. We need to head north. Thought I saw a crate. My eyes deceived me. I mean, they're new to me as well, John. This is my first time playing this game. How did you learn about most one of five one zero? Honestly, I was just looking. I don't. I don't remember honestly. I think I was just looking at what Need for Speed games were on the PSP, and then I found them all, and then I bought them all. All right, two lap circuit race for three thousand cash. Let's go. Let us drive. Actually, having my crewmates the same color as my cars, the same color as mine, is kind of really helps with this with the distinction. Apparently, I've purchased uh, most, if not all, of my PSP Need for Speed collection at a uh, local store, a used game store local to me. Oh, 
Oh, we're going this way. Whoops. That's not... That was a wall. Slightly average. I had a good time. I, I mostly had fun with it. There's a couple parts in that game that were frustrating, but that was a pretty decent game. I'm on my way. It's gonna take a few seconds though. Route through the now quarry. Yeah, I don't think there's like any races that went through the golf course in most wanted were there. Or am I just misremembering? The freaking button prompts are confusing me very much, because, like, the way the D-pad buttons are shaped on PlayStation controllers, it's like the right arrow kind of has a left point arrow on its, like, button design. So, like, I'm look I keep looking at, like, the button prompt for my, uh, my crewmate, and I see, like, the larger, like, left arrow of the button and not the right arrow inside the button, so it's, it's fucking me up. Yeah, like, my brain's thinking, like, okay, I gotta press left to activate, uh, Arjun. No, I gotta press right. Take a catapult. I win. But you're in this game too. <laughs> I have 17,000 cash now. I can definitely afford to uh, finish upgrading the Solstice. Motor bicycle in Congo fashion. Who will let you on a motorcycle? Who thought that that would be even remotely a safe idea? I just want to talk. Before I do this uh, event, <laughs> is the bike okay? Jesus. All right, no crates here. this escape. For event number six out of seven. Got a minute thirty to reach the target. Swap the ass into it. I follow the arrow. Whoa. Thought I was going to go left. Dumbass. Oh. Rip in pieces. 
Weak ass fools. Oh, we're going this way? Okay. You know, for some reason, I don't think I should have went this way. I think that was actually, like, less than ideal. Congratulations on growing your boobs. No! Damn it. Fuck. That one cobalt got me. Also, the GPS fucked me over more than anything there. Alright, let's try again. <coughs> Here we go. You know, I think this Lancer is rear-wheel drive. I only saw the rear wheel spinning there. Team Fusion, what did you do to this car? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I am definitely confuzzled. Alright, I'm gonna stay on the main road this time. I'll take the goofy narrow side road that the GPS wants me to. So long, suckers! Oh, turns right here. Oh, yeah, um, I'm in Eastsiders territory right now. The Eastsiders Cobalt. <laughs> oh, hey, we unlocked some art. Cool. Alright, we got one event left. It's the sprint race. The only sprint race? That's the only sprint race. So, where is it on the map? It is right here. We just got this one more race. Yeah, it's kind of like the, uh, the like marked man events from Burnout Paradise for a comparison, John. Make it to the finish line while people are trying to murder, death, kill you. Yeah, they uh, they retextured the DHL van. It's now in a uh, Amer American Motorcycle Association van. Wow. Oh, okay. I tried. Oh, hi, Clyde. What's up? All right, we made it to the sprint race. Here we go. 1.9 miles, allegedly. We'll see if that's true. I'm only going against Crumpet and Juice. Guess the other nerds were too, uh, too busy to, uh, participate. Yeah, this is just a regular race. This isn't the boss race yet. I'm intentionally staying behind Juice so I can have Marcus beat the shit out of him. Arjun gets really excited about drafting. Ready for action. Let's take these guys. 
eyes out. There's no one in range. There's no one in range. Where is the target? Coming around. Catch on to my draft. I should be amazed as he breaks off the draft and then breaks hard. Dylan Hendrick Larson or something. God. Rick Hendrick secretly owns DHL. Crumpet and Juice. Those those are their names. Alright. So that is all the events done. The perimeter highway. So now we get to take on Sly. Let's uh let's go ahead and take on Sly. And his crew. I'm Sly and I own this highway. And you want a piece? You're gonna have to take it from me. I'm sorry, can, can you speak up a little bit, Sly? I didn't I couldn't hear you there. Hey, I'm Sly. I own this highway. Want a piece. Alright. Apparently, apparently Sly is also shy. What is he driving? I'm paying attention. What do you win? Oh, you're in an Evo. What the boss is driving Evos? At least the second boss in an Evo. Oh, pfft. bye, bye, Sly. Whipping pieces. Go get him. Go get him, Tiger. Oh, here we go, Marcus. <laughs> Violence. Kaboom. Oh, there's a wall there. <laughs> We're not supposed to go that way. <laughs> Excuse me. Damn cough. Damn sick cough. Watch out, I'm going by. Catch on to my draft. Shit, we got a tight turn. Cars handling gets super weird when drafting. Nah, it's just a cold. Whoa! Where the hell do you come from, West? Oh shit, oh shit, we're at the finish, oh shit. No, I got cucked by West, damn it. I'm like, alright Marcus, fucking kill him. I did not realize we were at the end of the race. Shit. The cucking. Let's try that again. It wasn't even Sly. He was still way behind me. It was it was West. Holy fuck! What are we doing here, Arjun? It's <laughs> not how that's supposed to work. Ready for 
ruin crosses the finish line before you, doesn't count as a win. See, the thing is, one of the actual opponents crossed the finish line before me. I lost because someone that's not my crewmate won. That was what the problem was. Get in the zone. Team control <laughs> Need for speed, total team control. Oh, watch out. It's just for the shenanigans factor. I still can't believe they recreated Ryan Newman's big Daytona flip, but as Jimmy Johnson in the prologue. There we go. Got the one that time. The one. The win. I can words. Yoink for the purpose of shenanigans. Yeah. Nice, Arjun's almost le to level two. I know you're gunning for poor boy, and that guy owes me money. If you want, I'll switch over and ride with your crew. I'm sorry, can you speak up, Sly? I don't think I caught that. Apparently, poor poor boy is the leader of the East Siders. Well, we got one of their territories. Beating Sly. Unlocked a car, we've unlocked more upgrades, and we've unlocked more spoilers and also carbon fiber hoods. Total crew respect, 425. If only it was five less. And we got Sly available. Recruit. Alright, so he's a drafter. With 80 skill points. Your bio. Sly is one sly dude. <laughs> he likes to race through tight corners where his quick thinking comes in handy. Hmm. I'm going to have him replace Dylan just because he has more skill points. Yeah. Now, can I re-recruit Dylan? I can re-recruit Dylan. Anyways, uh, here's Tank Catapult. This is more Caro's joke. <laughs> Look how fire for skill use. Alright, um... I'm gonna keep my main two because they have their secondary abilities. And now, first of all, what did we unlock? We unlock, ooh, we unlock the Eclipse. Hey, yo. Bro. <laughs> Firebird, eh? That's the next thing we unlock. Hmm. All right. Let's finish uh, building the Solstice now. So we got engine kit two and purchase for three thousand. We got handling kit two for two thousand. Got chassis upgrade three for two thousand. Not adding much, but it's I guess it's adding. And then we got turbo kit three. The turbo is the biggest upgrade in this game. Out of the categories. 4,000. And then nitrous. Alright, should have enough for visual upgrades. 
First of all, I don't have the body kit unlocked. Damn. Oh well. Oh yeah, we got new uh, wings. So we got Arrow Max, I think. Maybe Grifter. Switchblade looks new. It's been 500 for the Arrow Max wing. Yeah. All right, now we can get a carbon fiber hood. I don't even have to purchase it. I just straight up own it. Okay. Um. Vinyls. Actually, before I do the vinyls, I should probably paint this. Oh, we can put 21s on this. Oh my god, absolutely. Alright, paint. Oh, I had Metallic and Glossy already up, uh, unlocked. Okay, I didn't even know that. Alright, what do we paint the Solstice? I think I'll put 21s on it. Hmm. I kind of got distracted by the background of the uh, the garage here. Not gonna lie. I don't really care for the how reflective the glossy and metallic finishes are. Might go dark purple. Go purple. With black rims, yeah. And then window tint. Um, ooh, do we do grape or violet? Looks like it fits better. All right, vinyls. Hmm. Okay, lightning actually kind of looks good. Fisher looks interesting. I'll put lightning on it. All right, there's our solstice. And now the rest of our or my other crewmates are purple. Yeah. Roger at 23%. Damn, okay. Um So, that's three territories. We found 12 crates so far. Poor boy. The industrial region. The, the leader of the East Siders. Damn. 
the new East Siders. Um, it's after eleven. I think I'm gonna stop here since we just finished an area. But hey, we've made good progress. Good start, I think. The least ciders. <laughs> so, I've not lost a race yet. The McBitch, the McBitches crew is uh, is going strong. Been in two pursuits. And 41 takedowns, damn. How about that? And here's our crew. 90% win-loss ratio. Because uh, I lost that first attempt at a sly. I can sly like... <laughs> Not bad. Not bad start. It's a good time so far. I'm still getting used to how this game specifically handles all the uh, uh, features like police and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm so not used to not having to deal with the police. It's refreshing. I, I, it's refreshing not having the police on my ass constantly. So, uh, next time on carbon own the city we're going to take down the east siders and poor boy and then move on to i guess the rest of the east side of not rockport <laughs>